BuzzFeed has somewhat of a notorious reputation on the internet, and notorious is somewhat of a cool word, so I don't think they deserve the usage of it. I feel like they have a, just a really bad reputation. A lot of the- oh, sorry guys, once again, I'm in here with a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> There's gonna be interruptions, I apologize. But BuzzFeed, they have a really bad reputation with a lot of people, mainly because sometimes their articles can be written by pure idiots and people who don't really understand the depth of what they're talking about. Now, of course, we're all guilty of this every now and then, but BuzzFeed seems to be notorious for this, man. And it, it's it's constantly coming up. They're constantly putting stupid shit out there. And they usually kind of do these lists where they rank things. And it's kind of subjective to a lot of bias. It's, it usually doesn't really have that much depth to it, but they made a tier list. Now, one thing I want to say is that at the top of their article for this, the definitive ranking of all Super Smash Brothers for Wii U characters. Now, they also put in a disclaimer a little while after the article was released. So this is after, like, people gotten pissed off about this article. Not a tier list, but when they made this, it was with the intention of it being a tier list, or at some point, they just didn't even think of the idea of the fact that it could be associated with a tier list, so they put that in there after the fact. But considering that it was put out there before, under the under the intention of being somewhat of a tier list, we're going to analyze it as a tier list and see just exactly what the fuck this idiot thinks he's doing. <laughs> Ahmed Ali Akbar, no offense, my friend, but... <clears throat> anyway, so... They're going to be ranking all the characters in Smash and Wii U, and now all of us, being competitive Smash players, I mean me at least trying to, I understand where the ranking of certain characters is in this game. So I'll, I'm, I haven't looked at this list yet. I have not looked at this list yet, other than the first person who's on there, who's Dark Pit. So I'm going to be going into this head first along with you guys. So let's take a look at what this article has to offer. So Dark Pit, his pros, he's prettier arrows than Pit, and his con, nobody asked for this, nobody. If you're ranking in terms of tiers, I don't think Dark Pit is at the bottom, but in terms of, you know, just the character himself, yeah, I'll agree with them on that point. But why the fuck is Zero Suit Samus at the bottom? Tier-wise or character-wise? Like, what? Zero Suit at the bottom? She's one of the most loved characters in Smash Brothers, and one of the most viably competitive players in, I mean, excuse me, one of the most, um, I, I'm, I'm fucked up right now. That shit is, 50? She's one of the most viable, competitive characters in the game and manages to be a fan favorite right now for more reasons than one. Pros, absurdly fast and powerful. Con, how does she fit those heels into her power suit? What are you talking about? Oh my god, this is already, we're on 50 right now. This is gonna be one fucked up ride, man. I'm already pissed off right now. I don't know what to expect from this article. I'm, I'm upset. That's a con? I don't care if it's a joke, if it's satire, if he's trolling, then 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, bitch, you got me. The bait got me. If I'm being baited right now, god damn it, you got me. Ahmed, 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 you got me. You, you got me, you baited me, bro. 10 out of 10, 10 out of fucking 10. Great bait, mate, I rate eight. Let's <laughs> go. All right, let's see what number 49 is. Okay, we're probably not going to read through every single one. We're just going to, like, skim through. So, number 49. Me Swordsman? They're not, you can't even, I don't even know if you can consider Mii's in a viable sense of character because they're not able to be used online. And I don't even think tournaments are really kind of handling Mii's as their, as official characters yet. I don't know. My knowledge is a little bit outdated on this, but I don't think Mii's are allowed to be used in tournaments right now. Pros, now you can make all your Game of Thrones fanfiction come true. Khan, the preferred character of egotistical men's rights activist, usually wears a top hat. What the fuck are you talking about? Palutena at number 48? Why? Why? Pros, God is a video game character. God is a sexualized video game character. What? Sexualized? Okay, sure, maybe she gave a little, a little boob action, a little waist action in the trailer. But I mean, she's not dressed like a fucking slut, man. Like, I mean, come on. Well, I say slut, but I mean, still, she's not dressed promiscuously. Like, come on, man. Her, her behavior is a little bit. But then again, I mean, when you consider that a lot of the fan favorite characters do tend to be on the attractive side. I mean, come on, man. I don't think, ah, uh, I don't, ah, uh, God as a sexualized video game character as a con. Come on, dude. Come on. Me, Gunner. Great if you want to make custom versions of Robocop. The dark horse of the three me characters. What are you talking about? The me gunner is a fucking problem. It's a fucking problem. That's why people ain't using that bitch in tournaments. Pit at number 46. 
He has better hair than your average One Direction member. Really ugly feet, yet insist on wearing sandals. What is this dude doing? Are you kidding me? Really ugly? What does that matter? What the fuck does that matter? And, and you're hearing this from a guy that likes a girl with nice feet. Why does his fucking feet matter? <laughs> this, holy shit. What do they matter? He, All right, Meta Knight. Kirby with the sword, mask, and wings. Khan doesn't take off his mask so you can see how dark, gosh darn cute he is. Oh uh, man. Well, I mean, Meta Knight never really took off his mask other than when he got his ass beat in, I think, Kirby the Amazing Mirror, his mask, come, or in Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, one of those games, I think both maybe, he beat Meta Knight and his mask falls off and you see he has the same face as Kirby, proving that he is actually a Star Warrior. But, um, okay. I really need to learn not to get baited by this article because every time I read and do one of these things, it makes me want to break a table in half, but I gotta understand that I shouldn't take this that seriously. It's a fucking BuzzFeed article. Desmond, calm your ass now. Pikmin and Olimar. Could literally fit him in your pocket. Might kind of be the Christopher Columbus of Nintendo characters. Okay, okay. Diddy Kong. <laughs> um, can we get a zoom in on this, guys? Can we get a zoom in? Like, Diddy Kong. Number <laughs> 43. It's official. <laughs> It's official, BuzzFeed, you've lost every ounce of credibility. I mean, you, you pretty much did beforehand, but now it's a fucking rap. It's a fucking rap. Oh man, all right, you know what? We're gonna skip some, we're gonna skip some shit here. Let's see where they rank their top end characters. I'm, you know, this article, the only thing that they got right so far is fucking Dark Pit at number 51. That's the only thing that they got correct with this because I mean, everything else seems to just be based on garbage that comes out of their asshole. Like, come on, man. I mean, really? Yeah. Anyway, so let's see where Robin is. Robin number 26. Okay. What are your reasons? Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. That's the pro. Con does not believe in paper recycling. Don't. Etika, don't get baited. Etika, do not get baited. Take it easy, relax, it's BuzzFeed. It's BuzzFeed. There's no reason for me to get upset behind this. There's no reason that I should be trolled right now. Because obviously this guy did not make this with the intention to get people as angry as he actually did. Therefore, me falling for it would be obvious bait and being trolled. I should not let that happen to myself. Marth, he has nicer hair than you. Kind of aloof. What? Kind of aloof? kind of fucking aloof. He's one of the most acute swordsmen in the fucking world. It, have you ever heard of a fucking tipper? Fox, number 24. Fast, nimble, and oh so cuddly. Maybe the worst voice actor switch in the entire history of video games. There, two things that they're credible for. Two. Greninja. He's a cute origami frog who will murder you with water. I don't know about the cute part. He's more of a cool, if you know what I mean. Uh, is that his tongue, a scarf, or both? How old is that? People were talking about this from when fucking Greninja got leaked on 4chan. And you're really going to make a big deal about his tongue scarf? He's been out for a year. Stop with the old jokes, man. Where did this, where did they fucking hire this guy from, man? Seriously, man. All right, Donkey Kong, damn it. Doesn't everyone want to be the leader of a DK crew? It's called Expand Dong a lot. That's, yeah, he does. It's called a fucking meme. That's part of the internet culture, for God's sake. Holy shit. It's part of the culture. <laughs> so you you revive old shit like Greninja's tongue scarf, but then you want to dump on somewhat kind of funny recent stuff like Expand Dong? I don't get where this guy's mind is. I'm being way too critical. I'm understanding that at this point, my logic mind is kind of going out the window because I'm just filled with angst and rage right now. I may even be somewhat irrational right now in my anger but this is just a very frustrating article very frustrating i'm sad i won't be able to read the wallet because if i do i probably this video will probably be an hour long rob pros received a major personality upgrade this time around actually seems like someone you would want to hang out with what personality upgrade what personality upgrade 
The only person who I feel like got a major personality upgrade is King DDD because in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, DDD had a very stagnant, um, very stagnant, consistent face that never really changed any time. But now King King DDD is way more expressive in terms of his facial expressions. So I mean, that's who I feel got a major personality update. King DDD is a lot more fun to look at now simply because you know he's always hoo, 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 or his face is like Ugh. you know King DDD is amazing in terms of personality upgrades. He's a fucking robot! Where did he get a personality upgrade? Are you fucking tr Are you niggering me? Is this intentional? Are you niggering me, Ahmed? Ahmed, are you niggering me? Where's the personality upgrade? What happened? What did Rob get in terms of personality upgrades? Am I missing something? He got some changes, but fucking personality upgrade? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Has leaking eyeball syndrome as a con. Fuck me. Just fuck me right now, man. Yoshi. Oh my god, so cute. Aw, oh, I want to cuddle him. Oh my god, how is his digestive system process- Oh, alright, never mind. I'm not even gonna bother with this one. Link. Or Lonk from Pennsylvania. Pulls off tights and fry boots better than most sorority girls, but has the wardrobe variety of sorority girl. Yeah, fuck you. Falco. An intentionally badass character that actually works. The only character your eight-year-old nephew will play. Okay. Lil Mac, punch very fast. Cons die very fast. Bowser. Excuse me, Koopa. Bowser has apparently been doing DDP yoga for the yoga for the past few years because his posture has greatly improved and all of his moves are now drop kicks. Very confusing hair and eyebrows, which has been part of Bowser for a while now. Pikachu, he's chill. He wear many hats. Neighbors might call pest control on you. You're so fucking original. Really. Bravo. Bravo. I apologize now because at this point, I am filled with angst. Just filled to the brim with rage and angst. This is so stupid. Samus manages to be kind of a unique character. Manages to be kind of a unique character. Samus is one of the most recognized, one of the most proactive, one, one of the most symbolic protagonists in all of Nintendo, who's just begging for a more modern game release. And you may say that she manages to be kind of a unique character. There's no one like Samus Aran. What are you talking about? Get off of my computer. Despite being another cybernetic assassin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Samus is a human. What? There's nothing cybernetic about her. She's in a suit. But maybe I'm. Oh, all right. Never mind. Somehow less used than Zero Suit Samus, which makes no sense. She has zero suits. <sighs> Mr. Game and Watch. Super chill. Did he say super chill for two niggas? He's a chill bro. Yeah, 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 you might, yeah, you know you know how he said Rob needs a fucking personality upgrade? Or rather, he has one? No, you, your vocabulary needs a goddamn upgrade. And then again, you know, mine does too. I'm cursing like a damn sailor right now. Super chill, hardworking, just wants to feed his kids. Con, a victim of structural dimensionalism. No, he's just one of the most original, well, oldest, most retro original characters from Nintendo in the first place. Ness, a portable fireworks show. His mom might call you yourself because he's definitely skipping fifth grade period right now. Bowser Jr. and the Koopalings. Has all the coolest new toys. Con will not read you rides. Shotgun. Okay? Prepared for a full day of gardening, golfing, cooking, tennis, or extreme parasoling. Keeps getting kidnapped. Good one. Luigi. He's really awkward and eccentric. He's really awkward and eccentric. Okay? Rosalina and Luma, two for the price of one. Lives the no new friends life for real. King DDD, the Kanye West of Smash Brothers. How does that make any sense? How do, how, like, like, tell me this. How does that make any fucking sense whatsoever? How is King DDD Kanye fucking West? How is King DDD fuck, fuck you? Pac-Man, a dude you can bring as your plus one to any party. Well, Pac-Man's pretty fucking cool, so I would agree with this statement, but his eyes are the shape of himself. His eyes are the shape of himself. You're so observant. Duck Hunt. Amazing old school reference, whoa. The dark sludge of unhappiness that bubbles in your lungs when you hear the dog laugh at you. He doesn't even have the laugh. 
That's one thing that I admit I was a little upset with Sakurai about. Duck Hunt doesn't have his original sounding laugh. The annoying, annoying laugh. He revamped it so it's not as irritating. Like the whole, he got rid of it. So therefore this statement is somewhat invalid because Duck Hunt no longer carries that ear busting laugh, that egregious, soul melting, destructive laugh anymore. Your relevancy is, your, your relevancy is irrelevant. You're irrelevant. Jigglypuff. Beautiful singing voice to lull you to sleep. Has an explosive forehead. Do you know, you know, I expected at least him to understand the concept of Pokemon, maybe to know things by name. I mean, but, but I mean, hey, whatever. I'm getting baited, I'm getting trolled. Do I even care anymore? Do I even fucking care anymore? Villager. Basically could be you as a kid, but only if you're white. Kirby. Like your toddler nephew, if he was a human marshmallow, always copying your most defining characteristics and showing them off to his friends. Captain Falcon. Really memorable personality defined entirely by his appearance in Smash. Nipples might be a little too hard. I don't even know. I'm gonna end this right now. Fuck this.